Dun, 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 Oh. Oh, wait, wrong song. Welcome back to the Renegade Report. I'm Francis Mayer, and uh, the, the song, of course, is the Renegade Fight song. You heard it there at the top of the show, and it gets us all pumped up for Renegade football on Saturdays. And uh, this weekend, we'll be on the road again, heading down uh, to the Southland to Long Beach. Uh, but first, we want to remind everybody about the Alumni Barbecue. That's happening tonight on the Bakersfield College campus, and uh, allegedly President Christian is going to be speaking, amongst others. But uh, Cheer Coach Heather has more on that. Yeah, we're going to be doing our 61st annual uh, alumni barbecue tonight at Bakersfield College, and it's the first time it's been back in over 10 years on the campus. So it's going to be in the air-conditioned cafeteria, even though we don't need it. The weather is absolutely perfect right now, so that means you can head on over to Memorial Stadium starting at 7 p.m. and watch the women's soccer game as well. Awesome. That is a, that's a great combination for a good evening. Coach Judy, you're planning to swing by the old alumni barbecue. Those are good steaks. Well, uh, you know, the alumni does a lot for Bakersfield College, the uh, Alumni Association, and uh, BC wouldn't be what it is without having um, alumni that come back and support and give back. So it's something that uh, just, you know, it's a, it, it's a tradition that separates us from everyone else, and it's, uh, you know, it's great to be a part of something that's so special. It's absolutely amazing to be a part of something so special. Coach, I was at an oyster festival back home um, over summer, and I saw a BC football helmet, one of those stickers that's on our helmets in the back window of somebody's truck. And, uh, right yeah, it was pretty darn cool, pretty uh -huh. darn cool. So uh, Renegade Football has its fans across the nation. And judging by the broadcast statistics from Bakersfield.com, we've got folks in the military checking in overseas. So we've gone global. <laughs> hey, God bless our military people. It's it's a uh, that's for sure. They, they deal deal with a lot of extreme and adverse situations, and uh, you know, it takes it takes a uh, football becomes a little bit more of a you know a trivial little, thing. Yeah, no question. But uh, one thing that we have to do is we we can't uh, we can't make it trivial for us. No, uh, we, we're making way too many mistakes. We, we got to. We got to give ourselves a shot to win, and we're not doing that right now. We're playing really sloppy, and you know I think that's something that uh, I definitely you know have to take ownership of, and and I I think that uh, we're on the right track to trying to correct some of those mistakes that shouldn't be happening, especially uh, your second game into the season, and so we got a we got a really good opponent in Long Beach, they're the second rated team in the South, and. So we better play uh, with our A game, which right now it, it has been anything but uh, that. Well, it, it has been confusing, I think. And, and one thing we know from the track record of yourself, your coaching staff, and Renegade football in general is we don't ever give up. Uh, last year we had a, a rough start and ended up in a bowl game, so anything can happen. But, Coach, when you say you take responsibility for, for some of the mistakes and, and saying that we're playing too loose, do you ever have – um, I suppose, like a general coaching strategy, like maybe you are a little more lax, hoping for one type of outcome, but instead you get mistakes. Is no, it like that? Or? No. Uh, I would never I, accuse I'm, you of I'm being never, lax. No, I'm not, it's not. You know, football is a game uh, of attention for detail. Okay. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, we've lacked that uh, attention. You know, we have done a poor job of securing the ball offensively, which is our primary mission. Is you guys secure the ball first, and uh, you know hopefully we'll make a couple first downs after that. But we've done neither uh, with any you know we haven't uh, created the change to move uh, with any kind of consistency. We've done a terrible job of securing the ball, and we've and you know defensively we've we've given up uh, too many big plays. We started off this last game with a. A routine little out route, and we had about five missed tackles, which mm. you know we ha actually had been tackling pretty well going into the Golden West game. I thought we did a really good job of tackling as a as a defense against Riverside, even though the score might not have indicated that. Uh, you know, the, they were wrapping people up. No, we did a good job, and then sure. we kind of took a step backwards, and that that was disappointing. But uh, you know, I I think everybody understands where we're at, and we've got a we got to play a lot better. We're playing against really good competition, which is, you know, would, you would hope it would elevate your game. And we haven't uh, risen to the occasion yet. But, you know, we we got to figure it out fast. We start our conference next week against Hancock. And, 
you know, we've, we've got to get the thing turned around right now. So Long Beach will be a, a stern test for us. They're a very, very talented group. They're, they've got great size. Uh, their skill guys are very, very talented. Um, Do they pass they, the ball a lot, Coach? They throw the ball quite a bit. They have an offensive line that's very, very big. Uh, they got a quarterback that's got a strong arm. They've got really skilled wideouts. Uh, defensively, they've got some size and speed, and they come after you. So it's, it's going to be a – a, a challenge for us you know we, we just have to play better we've got to protect the ball uh, first and foremost and you know we got to put hats on people offensively and create some seams you know we have to be able to run the football in order for us to to, to you know score points I mean that's the bottom line and and I think that uh, if we're able to do that and I think we, sh we should be able to do that you know we're we're 30 percent into our season right now so it's moving fast and then defensively you know we just got to we got to eliminate uh, missed tackles and and not give up big plays and make make Long Beach earn every every score they get. But you know we can't put ourselves in the situations that we put ourselves in. You know it's it's just it's not it's not going to work out. It's going to be a pretty bad outcome right. when you have as many turnovers as we've had and uh, and just have done a poor job of securing the football. And that's that's something that we got to take ownership of. Now, do you do you feel like that ownership? And, and I know that we're a team first organization mm -hmm. in BC Athletics, but do you see those those adjustments happening on the individual level or on a well, system level? I like, think it's no. It starts off with each coach has got to be accountable uh, first and foremost for how we're playing as an area group, and then as a as a player. If I'm a player, I've got to take ownership of everything that I do, and so accountability is throughout. The pro, you know it has to be throughout the program. We all have to take ownership of what's going on, and you know, like I said, as as the program director, I got I'm accountable for everybody. I'm accountable for how our coaches coach in practice, and you know, for the product that comes out on Saturday. So we all have to answer to some somebody. And right now, you know, at the bottom line is we're not doing the things that we need to do uh, in order to be successful, and. Uh, we got to, you know, we got to play better. And you know, I look at the turnovers that we've had in two games. Uh, probably amount close to what we would have in a 10-game or 11 to 12-game season when we're we're dialed in. And for whatever reason, uh, and that's where I have to take ownership of. We we haven't, uh, you know, we haven't focused in on those things so um, we, we have to play better and we have to protect the ball and we've got to put hats on guys offensively so we can create some seams for our backs and that'll help us throw in the ball and and you know we've got to be able to get lined up and and play fast and defensively like I said I think uh, we tackled extremely well against Riverside for the most part we did we, we didn't give up big chunk plays big yardage yardage plays obviously we got hurt by field position on, and turnovers and you know we weren't able to create a whole lot of offense and this last game was just you know it was atrocious so it's something that we all recognize and we've got to do a better job of you know coming out out of the gate and giving ourselves a chance to compete you know almost every difficult situation that pops up in my life I feel like there's a sporting metaphor for it and a lot of my role models have been athletes and and coach I would ask you when you come off the field in the locker room after a disappointing loss like the one we had last week, what sort of mindset are you trying to promote? I mean, do people need to be told to feel bad about that, or, no. or is how they feel bad <laughs> enough? Hey, we got to take ownership of how we play. You know, however it makes any somebody feel, it, it, uh, it that is what it is. You know, everybody has a, a different take on it, but at the end of the at the end of the day, which I say frequently. Um, <laughs> If we played poorly, it was sloppy. You know, it, it didn't look like uh, it, it's probably as poor a performance as I can remember um, a renegade wow. team that I've been a part of uh, playing, you know, in every facet of the game. You know, we got hit by a, a poor kick on a punt that bounces off one of our guys and we, they recover, you know, in the, in the red zone. And uh, just you can't open and start off the game and you put the ball on the ground. You know, just as a collective, uh, I could go on and on, and we're, I know our <laughs> time's running out, but no, you know, in terms of, it, again, it reverts back to we all have to take ownership of, of where we're at, and we've got to, you know, 
right the ships. There's got to well, be internal motivation by each 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 player has got to have a vested interest in what's going on and and recognize that the product on the field last Saturday was not the best. Uh, folks, you've heard it from the absolute authority. Um, and, Coach, if your career is any reflection, you will be accountable. And w we have no doubt that there will be uh, improvement. And that's all we can hope for in life and on the playing field. And we'll work through these, ob uh, these obstacles as they come our way. That's for sure. Long history at BC, and, uh, and it will continue to go forward as such. Coach Judy, thank you. And for the entire Renegade Report team, I'm Francis Mayer. And hopefully we'll see you at the Alumni Barbecue.